today we have to start here the next part of the book number 16 17 and 18 11 we have to study here the anomalous nature of oxygen and chlorine in last lecture see today we have to start here the reactivity towards oxygen reactivity towards oxygen see in group number 16 we have to study here reactivity towards oxygen in group number 16 we have to know that element oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium in that that reactivity towards oxygen means it will be form that eo3 that element here sulfur selenium tellurium for an oxygen that will be dioxide and trioxide it will be forms first we have to study here the dioxide that will be the dioxide of sulfur dioxide of sulfur means sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide dioxide of selenium selenium dioxide it will be react with water it forms the sulfurous acid it forms the sulfurous acid in selenium that aco2 it will be react with water it forms the selenium oxide that that acid means that acidic nature out of the here the acidic nature it forms the respective acid also in trioxide that element sulfur selenium tellurium here that it will be react with that here trioxide it forms means first we have to take here the example of selenium that trioxide it will be react with water it forms the selenous acid okay that sulfur trioxide it forms the sulfuric acid means that type of respective acid that acidic nature of observed that dioxide and in trioxide this reactivity of group number 16 towards the oxygen it forms the respective acids it forms the respective acid see then in group number 16 we have to study here the sulfur selenium tellurium that element it will be forms the dioxide it react with water it forms the respective acid means acidic nature we have to observe here then in group number 17 that group number 17 means all halogen group number 17 means all halogen it will be forms here oxides red means it will be reacted with oxygen reactivity towards oxygen it forms that first element of group number 17 is fluorine fluorine it forms of2 fluorine it forms of2 and o2 f2 means here that will be thermally stable that molecule it will be thermally stable here stability it will be less comparative to of2 means that halogen towards oxygen there are some specific compound they have in the stable they have in the stable in chlorine that cl2 clo2 cl2o6 that complex it will be formed here clo2 it will be the bleaching agent to have to use in a daily practice here that bleaching agent that chlorine ClO2 that form it will be act as a bleaching agent. Then bromine it also forms that Br2O, BrO2, yeah BrO3, trioxide, trioxide it will be forms. Means here that specific compound they have stable here. Or bromine in iodine that I2O4, then another compound I2O5. If that will be the agent oxidizing agent, it will be used. Means here. chlorine chlorine bromine iodine means that group number 17 element they forms the respective oxides and they are the here we have to thermal stable here it will be act as a bleaching agent means thoroughly complex they have the stable they have the stability uh, see here the halogen it will be reacted towards that oxygen a specific compound act as a uh, bleaching agent like uh, in chlorine oxide that will be act as a bleaching agent that reaction we have to study then are uh, in iodine that i2o5 that i2o5 it will be used as a oxidizing agent that i2o5 is a good oxidizing agent good oxidizing agent it will be act as a good oxidizing agent in group number 17 element it forms the respective Uh, oxides towards that oxygen reactivity towards that oxygen in group number 18 group number 18 that there is no oxide means reactivity towards oxygen it will be because that group number 18 is nobel acid 
and then that uh, they do not show that reactivity towards the oxygen in group number 18. See that reactivity towards the oxygen, then reactivity towards halogen. Reactivity towards halogen. See here reactivity towards halogen. Who have to study here? That uh, in group number 70, 16, first we have to study here, 16. That 16, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium. That polonium radioactive. See here, sulfur, oxygen, sulfur, selenium and tellurium. They form respective their dihalide, tetrahalide and hexahalide. Dihalide, tetrahalide and hexahalide. Dihalide 2, tetra 4. That hexa 6 means their respective forms that dihalide, trihalide, di dihalide, tetrahalide and hexahalide. Dihalides are sulfur dihalide, SCL2. Here selenium dihalide, that you have to take here the chlorine halide, SCL2. Then tetrahalide, SF4, you know, SF6, it will be uh, from here SF6 is a hexahalide. Tetrahalide SF4, you know, selenium tetrafluoride, you know, here sulfur hexafluoride, you know, selenium hexafluoride, means that dihalide, tetrahalide and hexahalide, it will be forms that reactivity of group number 16 to dihalide, tetrahalide and hexahalide, it will be forms. And that reactivity in terms of that hexahalide, uh, that uh, fluorine, Means that decreasing order they have given here chlorine, chlorine, means fluorides, chlorides, bromides, and iodides. That will be decreases here the stability that related to the their hexahalides, dihalide, tetrahalide, and hexahalide. Means in terms of hexahalide, they have given the order that decreasing order here that chlorides, chlorides, bromides, and iodides they have given. Then in group number 70, at 17 means they are all halogen, fluorine, fluorine, bromine and iodine. Then last is the extra symbol here, at fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine. They have forms the respective to their halides, means simply it will be called as interhalogen compound. Interhalogen compounds, interhalogen compound and it will be forms in terms of XX. The second element it will be uh, C, the one form. Then XX3, tri, XX5, penta, XS7, hepta. Means that type of another halogen it will be forms in terms of tri, penta and hepta. Type of the complex it will be formed. And that compound is called as an interhalogen compound. That compound is called as an interhalogen compound. We we'll see here the group number 17 that chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine that will be formed their respective halides. That in terms of that form XX1, that XX3, XX5, XX7 in that form it will be formed. And in group number 18, group number 18 only the two elements that group number 18 you have to know that all inert gases, noble gases, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. I am making krypton and xenon. In this respective halide, you learn to just the stable and comparative to krypton. See here that xenon it will be formed the respective halide. On xenon, di, tra, tetra, hexahalides it will be formed. Then here xenon is that last element here in uh, group number 18 that helium, neon, argon, that will be not in all, in halides, but here xenon, it will be forms the stable compound. See, or uh, then reactivity towards the metal, we have to study here, reactivity towards the metal, that metal reactivity uh, means simple group number 16 metal, that uh, element, reactivity towards metal, see here, we have to study that element in group number 16, that oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium. That will be here, that oxides in terms of metal here, Al. It will be react with that oxygen. It forms the Al2O3. Means here, 
<coughs> respective oxides it will be formed that reaction is not balanced but you have to balance that chemical reaction that group number 16 oxygen that are uh, for al2 thrice o2 they need to be balanced al2 o See that respective oxides it will be formed. In group number 16 that we have to take as only oxygen element. Only oxygen element. In group number 17 uh, that uh, we have to take the respective halides that uh, taken here. The sodium it will be react with that chlorine. It forms the uh, NaCl. We have to balance that reaction. NaCl. This respective metal halide that NaCl is a salt it will be formed. This reactivity towards metal here we have to take on as aluminium and the respective oxides it will be formed. Here taken in group number 17 that halogen it will be formed 60. Here it will be formed 17. Metal they have respective uh, here NaCl salt it will be formed. Means it will be given here reactivity towards also the metal. This reactivity oxygen, reactivity halogen and reactivity towards Metal we have to observe in group number 16, 17 and 18. That 18 did not involve in a uh, metal that 18 group that will be noble gases. They could, cannot react with that reaction. Means metal reaction it will be not observed in group number 18. In group number 18. See, today we have to stop here.